Welcome again. In our readings, we are at Luke chapter 19, verses 41 through 44, and we're reading how Jesus cried over Jerusalem. Yes, Yeshua cries over Jerusalem. Let's read it. Verse 41. When he came near, he saw the city and wept over it. Remember, we're just coming from the time when Jesus, this, I mean, Jesus was just going down towards Jerusalem. The people were crying out, blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. You know, the people were more or less pretty much praising him as the Messiah or expecting him to be the political Messiah at that point in time. And he comes into Jerusalem. It says he came near and he saw the city and wept over it, saying, if you, now can you imagine Yeshua, Jesus weeping at this time, as he's sobbing, he says, if you, even you, had known the, today the things which belong to your peace. Now, let me stop, I gotta stop there first. A lot of people today, they don't know what real true peace is. This is what Jesus is complaining about Jerusalem. They didn't know how to get real true peace. They may have thought they were already, they already had peace. Maybe they thought they had peace. How many people today think they have peace in their drug infested life or in their sinful lifestyle? You know, not going by God's word, God's will at all. It's a counterfeit peace. Peace. It's a counterfeit peace, my friend. It's not real, true peace. It's setting up for war. It's setting up for trouble. Read it again. Uh, Jesus said, he was sobbing, he was crying here, weeping, saying, If you, Jerusalem, even you had known today the things which belong to your peace. Oh, if you would know. But now they are hidden from your eyes. You're blind. For the days will come on you when your enemies will throw up a barricade against you, surround you, hem you in on every side, and will dash you and your children within you to the ground. Jesus, at this time, he could have prayed for them. He could have said, Oh, you know, I prayed for you and, you know, I, I'm going to make sure that your children and you are saved. I'm going to make sure you're safe because I love you so much. He knew that the people in Jerusalem at that day did not receive him as they should have received him as king, as Mashiach. He knew that. That's why he, he, he basically pronouncing destruction upon Jerusalem. Let's read on. They will not leave in you one stone on another because you didn't know the time of your visitation. The question is, is this fulfilled? I know a lot of people would say, yes, it was fulfilled in you know, 70 AD, you know, when the when the, the you know the destruction of Jerusalem. But should we interpret one stone upon another as a, as a literal interpretation. When Jesus said, they will not leave one stone upon another, you know, they will not leave in you one stone upon another. Was that, was he talking about literally one stone upon another? If so, that has not been fulfilled yet. We still have remnants of the old Jerusalem. One stone upon another from, the from times before the days of Jesus. So, the literal one stone upon another has not been fulfilled yet. Something to think about. Jesus could have pronounced blessing over, over Jerusalem in spite of their rebellion. He could have done a lot of things. You, know, you got to think about when you read about what Jesus said, you got to think about what he didn't say. Food for thought. As God gives you the unction to read more of his scriptures, the unction to get into it more, to know more about him, may he open your eyes and give you great revelation as you call upon him. Let him show you great and mighty things in the name of Yeshua. Thanks again.